Hey, my name is Dylan Ray, and I'm the eSport coordinator for the University of North Texas. Today, I'm going to talk to you about all the many ways that students can get connected with your Mean Green community through video games. At UNT, we take our gaming pretty seriously. Whether you're an eSports superstar, a gamer looking for a community that plays what you play, or someone who loves cheering for the Mean Green, we have a bit of everything gaming on this campus. In the spring of 2017, President Neil Smotrisk started a presidential initiative to develop a competitive eSport program for the university to be represented in intercollegiate competition. The first thing come out of that was a space, um, an initiative that created the Nest expansion to the UNT Media Library in Chilton Hall, room 111, and in the Nest in Discovery Park Library. At those locations, students can check out console video games, controllers, and consoles themselves like you would check out a book at a library. Additionally, there are 27 high-end Alienware stations for PC gaming, TV stations, including VR headsets. From there came the formation of UNT Esports, the varsity esport program for UNT that focuses on intercollegiate competition. Founded on April 16th of 2018 as a department on campus, talented students try out for a chance to compete and represent the university as one of our three varsity teams, Overwatch, League of Legends, and Rocket League. Athletes that compete on these teams get academic scholarship support, dedicated practice and performance space, private fitness training, costs covered for events and tournaments, and uniforms in exchange for representing and competing for the university. When it's safe to do so, UNT Esports competes in live events and arenas, like the Overwatch League's homestand or the Collegiate Rocket League finals last fall, when UNT was the number two team in the U.S. for Collegiate Rocket League. We also host events on campus as well. That usually offers prizes for students and neat volunteer opportunities to learn how to put on eSport events. Most eSport league games, however, are played online. UNT has a Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash UNT eSports, that features most of our tournaments and events we participate in. Outside of UNT eSports, there are three student clubs that manage competitive gaming on campus. The first is the UNT Gaming and eSports Club, a sports club on campus. They manage multiple student teams to compete against other universities. There are also two student org fighting clubs, UNT Smash Club and UNT Fighting Games Club. All of the teams um, that the three clubs field are put together through open tryouts and will put people on teams according to skill level. So it doesn't matter if you're a newcomer or a skilled player, anyone that's looking to is welcome to join. UNT Rec Sports also puts on eSport intramural events. If you want the occasional game night to take on a, uh, you know, a break from all your hard studying, um, you know, they'll do a fun bracket event for just about any game, and the stakes are for fun. Maybe you might get a free intramural champion t-shirt. There are also several ways you can get involved in the program, as well as the university student clubs. To watch, get involved, or find out how to try out, check out all of these channels to get connected to our various organizations. While we are relatively new to the UNT family, we are quickly becoming home for students to find meaning and connection to our campus and finding new friends and lasting connections. Regardless if you're just considering getting into gaming for the first time, a varsity contender, or if you love to watch, we at UNT Esports hope to see you involved in some way, shape, or form. And don't forget, we can always use your support and enthusiasm at a live event or online uh, Twitch broadcast for our games. Make some noise or type GO MEAN GREEN in all caps. Thanks and go mean green.